Hey guys, my name is Sediak and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 where your boy is continuing to build the UK's biggest transportation company. And last episode guys, we decided that we wanted to start giving Birmingham, my hometown, uh, all the resource that it requires and we worked really, really hard on pretty much kind of um, supplying it with uh, the machines uh, needed. Now, since last episode, machines are keep coming in. Right now, there's a train about to drop another 60 off. Uh, once this goes in, we'll make some sweet cash money moolah. Any moment now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And cha-ching, 1.2 milli, which supplies Birmingham with the machines. And at this point in total, it's given us a plus 10% on its city growth. Now, we've kind of had to delete and destroy the city slightly. So there's a little bit of a downturn and some of that stuff. But in general, we are absolutely growing bigger than we've ever grown before. It's got a target population of 5,100. What is going on right now? But today, I want to take a look at the other resource for it, and that is food. Now, when it comes to food, if I select the actual kind of um, cargo train station, you can see which side of the city requires food. So where this side is mainly machines, this side is going to be all food, and we need to bring food into it. Now, I did say that we need to kind of slightly suck um, island dry of all its natural resources. Not like that's ever been done before in, in, in the past, right, guys? <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to try and create over here um, some type of a food run. There's a little bit of a food person plus there in Limerick and there's a bunch of farms around which we can bring the food in and then somehow we're going to bring it over to feed Birmingham. Now that's going to be quite the challenge that we need to do because we're going to have to hook up a bunch of train lines and at some point then implement a boat or a shipping route and then bring it into Birmingham. This is going to be really, really interesting. So if you are guys enjoying this, smash a like button down below because this, this is now taking our transportation company to the next level. It really is. It really is. And I am all here for it. So what do we need to do then? So we need to basically feed this food plant right now with as much grain as we possibly can from all of these farms now a further away the farm which means the more money we make on each drop off i'm all for that i ain't gonna complain and then we need to then once you start producing the food we need to somehow then bring it into birmingham so we're gonna have to somewhere figure out a nice little setup for shipping the goods over and i think what might be a good little idea is to bring it in and utilize waterford now, the only reason I say that is because the train line runs quite close to the edge of the water. So I could slightly turn off here, implement a harbour, and then it's a case of where do I take the ship to bring it in. Now, I've got a couple of options. Uh, a couple of options right now. I could bring it from Waterford all the way over into Bristol. And again, the only reason I bring it into Bristol is because I can then implement a cargo train station that connects to this line that as it goes up it will then turn off and have a station around here so i'm trying to utilize the infrastructure that i've currently got while also trying to make it as efficient as i possibly can but it could also mean that i could also bring passengers from waterford over to bristol on a ship as well i could be killing two birds with one stone here so we need to do a lot right now. We need to do a lot. And I feel like what I should first do is reverse engineer it. I reversed engineered this route to bring in the machines. So starting where we drop the machines off and working eventually all the way back to the bare resource. I've also got to make sure that this steel plant over here has got enough goods. The coal's about to be dropped off anyway, but we seem to be ticking along quite beautifully. So let's start here then. We, what we're going to do first then, we're going to build the train station that will stop in here that will deliver all the food, and then bring it all the way down to there where we'll build our first harbour. So we're basically building the line backwards. Right, now I did kind of build this grid system last episode, and I wonder how the train station is going to work. It's going to be an end platform route, so we're not too worried about that. And if I bring it right round, and where do I want it? Do I want it to be up here and connect? It's going to be really, really difficult to do this, but that will give us the, like, the larger radius to be able to kind of connect to this place. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to ultimately connect it to that road. Hmm. Oh, did it work? Okay, it works slightly there. 
Okay, if I shorten this, does that give me... Okay, that gives me a better opportunity to kind of get that connection. So I'm going to place this... Actually, we'll do two tracks. Oh, this is going to be a bit dangerous, isn't it? Now, if I implemented this here, for example... Now, this is very, very elevated. It's very elevated, but you can see the radius that it all already kind of slightly gives us. But we can make that radius a little bit bigger. We slightly can. But it all comes down to how we can get the connections to the train station. So if I just kind of continue my platforms right now, this is all cargo related. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Very, we're very high right now. This is actually really, really high, isn't it? <laughs> right, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about it being so high. Yeah, okay. Right, let's see what we can do here. So miscellaneous then, we're going to place in a couple of these little kind of um, entrances, these little stairs that kind of connect to it. Now, the idea would have been to bring the road as a connection up, but the road connection is going to be so, so impossible almost. I mean, it could connect all the way over. Would it connect down to there? Yes, which is absolutely hilarious. But I'm thinking we delete all of this. And then we're going to redo this area slightly. I know it's going to delete a lot of buildings. Unfortunately. But we're going to re slightly redo it. We're going to do a little bit of terraining right now. And we're trying to... Um, what does smooth... Is it best to smoothen it or just straight up? Okay, we'll try the smoothing. We'll see how far we can get with the smoothing first. Because there might be something in there for us. Flatten. Okay, we'll flatten out a little bit. And then we'll do some smoothing it. So it becomes a better transition for the land and for the roads to connect to it. All right, bring this all the way down. All right, glorious. All right, I think we'll be okay at this point. Now it doesn't feel like it's on a hill. Okay, it kind of does feel like it's on a hill, but not too much, <laughs> not too much. So if I brought this road now down, just out of interest, right, without me doing any magic, can I create a connection from there to there? I can. Oh, no, I can't. The slope is too steep. It's still pretty high. Okay, it's still pretty high. So what I'll do instead, then, is we'll bring a road off this down to there. Right, there. And then, obviously, that can then connect to here. And then I bring that road connecting to there. And I should then be able to run this road all the way through and there be no issues. And now the train station on this one side alone has a little bit more radius and kind of can connect a little bit more. And even around this as the city continues to grow. So it's not amazing connections, but it's better than what we was originally about to just have. So if I have that connection there and then delete this little bit of road. If I then do... Well, I'm going to delete this little bit of road here. And then do a connection from there all the way in. Like that. Have the road here coming down. And then I think I'll just pretty much let the city decide where the rest of the roads can then pretty much go. Well, I have this cargo train station right now connected with a bunch of connections all around the sides. Okay, and now we can breathe. Now we can breathe. So, we've got to get that now connected to somewhere. We've got to get it now. I mean, to be honest with you, thinking about it, what if I made one side a passenger line? I can have a, little, a small little commuter route. Oh, okay, that's too much to do right now. Too much to do. Sediac, focus. Focus, sir. Focus. So, we need to build a harbour around here then. Which is going to give us the connection to also the train station here. Now, this is going to be interesting to see how we can implement it. So, what I think I'm going to do is actually create a connection on this and then do the same on this train station with having the little ramped section. We'll kind of come out with the... Is this smoothening? Is it smooth? Yeah, it's a smoothening. But it's not perfect, so we'll do a little bit of flattening instead. So we'll come out flattening because we're going to have to build a road that would lead down to the harbour. So smoothing all this. 
So I don't want to go too crazy, but just enough. Just enough is the uh, is the answer for us. So road-wise, same again here. Oh, hold on. Right, that connects to there and to there. So are they both connected? Yes. So now I just need to get this coming down to earth. So if I go to about... How far back can I go before it doesn't work no more? Do you know what? I think that's going to be okay. And then we go to about there. Now, if I can get the, the harbour here... I know that's ridiculous. But I try and do some more terraining to make it look a little bit better. But right, passenger... No, I can, then again, I can do passenger and I can do cargo. So we're just going to try and work on the one. So there is a slight collision, but it only has to go to here. And from what you can see right now, you can see how it connects to the train station. That's all I need it to do. That's honestly all I need it to do. But I wonder if I can go under as a tunnel. Ooh. So I can go under as a tunnel here. Now, is it too much of a connection there? Oh, it's too much of a slope. It's too much of a slope. Unless... I'm always, I'm always trying to think outside the box. It pops under there instead. Now that's cool. That's real cool. So now we have all types of connections. So yeah, that's now connected to here. That's connected to there. So if any cargo or if any... Uh, I mean, I'm going to have the cargo train station a little bit further down. But it's mainly for the passenger line. I can get passengers coming over here. Right, I'm getting sidetracked right now. I really am getting sidetracked. So if I just quickly delete the harbour section there. We've got passenger. We'll do two passenger buildings. And I'll do cargo, 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 and cargo. I know that's a lot of buildings, but I'm trying to extend it further down. So I can run my cargo train line into all of this. Right. So, dock, docks then. Not ducks. Docks, baby. Docks. Right. We'll get the one here, there, there, and that will be enough, right? I've, I've dammed off the water, <laughs> which I probably might can actually continue that. It's going to take some doing. But just for the land, also then the city Ooh, snap. will also grow over this side as well. So it all works out in the end, doesn't it? Sorry, guys. What is the name of this river anyway? Is it the River Seven? Is that what it is? I, I don't quite remember what the name of this river is. But it's now gone. It's now gone. Right, let's go get the landings in. So landing. we do one. Nope, one, two. Can't get one there because it's out of the navigatable waters. So, a little bit more terrain in. Should then sort it out for us. Yes. Right, sweet. So, we've got that connecting in. I mean, to be honest with you, I could have run a road all the way down. Should we tr Let me just see if I can run the road all the way down. If I delete you and delete you. And then bring this. Right, what's the issues here? Oh, it's that, isn't it? That's what the issue is. You can't go into that? Wait, what is that? Right, I've oh, okay, right. Delete, delete, delete. It's miscellaneous. It's this thing here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, miscellaneous. If I connect one there, and then one that side, can I then get the road to connect in, like, there? So the answer is yes. Go to here, run that down to there, and then that can just pop out. Oh, okay, maybe it can't. Oh, no, now there's too much slope. Oh, no, what have I done? What have I done? Right, hold on. But how did I have this working in the first place? Oh, d d okay, I went down even further, didn't I?
Right, that works to there. And brief. And brief. This is a very industrial run, this section. It's a very industrial run. So that's all in. I'm just now going to connect the train line to it, which... I don't know how this is going to go, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, so if I run this, hopefully slightly going uphill, for me then to implement the train station, so that's the wrong button. I only need one track, and I'll go quite long, 160. And go okay, 240. So you can see there it's connected to the actual harbour itself. Now, I can go all the way down to here, which is not a problem. Because what I can also do on this train line is I can configure the actual platform itself to have... Uh, where's the buildings? No, cargo buildings. More connection. So that one there becomes so much more connected to this area. Right, that's all in. So all I've got to do now, then, is run this train line to it. So I might bring it down first alongside it before we swoop it in as a connection. Just in case I have like a really, really super long train. Then I've got the space for it not to crisscross onto the actual track. So if I then run this in. There we go. I know it's a bit confusing, a bit conflicting, but... Happens before the crisscross. It's long enough right now that it won't overlap. So that won't connect down to there, but I'm not too bothered about that. It's just the cargo on the cargo platform. So all I've got to do now then is set up my harbour over here with my cargo stop there as well. And then we're pretty much ready to set up the industry. Right. We're getting somewhere. Oh, no. Actually, no. I've got to get the train line connected. In. <laughs> just when I thought it was safe. To continue. No, it is not safe, Sadiac. It is not safe. Right, where's the Chrissy Cross happening here? So the Chrissy Cross applesauce happening just there. And Okay, this is not playing ball now, is it? Alright, to there. To there. And then we're following the, the contour of the land here. But we will have to kind of bend this out. So if I go to there and then go up to here. I just realized that's now I've created a bridge and I didn't even realize it. I'm keeping that bridge in because I could bring the road underneath it. As the as the, the 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 passing of the train track, if the city grows that far anyway, right all the way down and in. So the only crisscross I've got to do is just over here, which I'm going to make it do it just there, or not there, there. A little bit further back, but it will work nonetheless. Right, that's now all done. That's now all done. So like I said, I'm reverse engineering this baby. So now we've got to go over to this side. All the way over to Waterford. And we'll start with building the harbour first. So pretty much same again. We want to try and incorporate the two. Now we might have a little bit of trouble here as well. Solely down to the fact that it's the elevation change, isn't it? That's what kind of throws us off slightly. So how far can I drop that? I can drop that to there. Which, that should be enough. That should literally ju just be enough. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. I gotta drop down a little bit more. Well, that's as low as I can go. How low can you go? Well, if I just go to here, we, we train... Is that smoothening? Flatten. We'll flatten out, and then we'll smooth out. And then hopefully I can get my harbour alongside here. Yeah, we'll get it on this side if possible. Just there. Now I'm just going to put it there for a second. And I'm hoping I can then, if I run the train line here. 
Does that connect? Yes, the train line connects there. So passengers get off the train, can go down to here once we get the passenger section set up on there. So that works as a connection. And I'm just going to make sure that the train station works. So flip this right round. Um, go a little bit smaller, maybe. And something like that does actually connect. So if I put you here, it's a tight squeeze. It definitely is a tight squeeze right now. And then cargo, where's platforms? Cargo platforms. All right, we'll just go to there so we've got enough space to work with. And then we'll run the train line, hopefully up and out. We'll set this to being the wall. Oh, what happened then? Oh, I think I pressed configure on accident. <laughs> what a noob. What a noob. Right, confirm that. And if I run to there. So it can come in and it can go back out. Nice. <laughs> nice, he says. Nice, he says. Right, there's a little bit of a supporting bridge there. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to mess about with it. But that's now all connected. I'm going to quickly configure the rest of this harbour. So just make it look a little bit bigger than what it needs to be. Um, we've got a little bit of passenger there. Can't really connect much to it, but that's okay. So we'll go for the full shebang right we'll go bam 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 and then we're throwing you there and you there and then we get our landings down i'll get multiple landings because we can also bring um, a ship coming from liverpool as well Ooh, now we're interconnected baby so that's all in all i've got to do now then is bring a train coming off here all the way up wiggling through to our station there and then bring the wheat or the grain over. Oh, we're so close, guys. We're so close right now. So we just got to figure out then what the best way to do this would be. So I reckon what we do first is delete this. Um, buildings, train line, go super long. I don't know why I've just selected high speed, but I'm going to do it anyway. And two or three. We'll go three. Do I need two or do I need three? It depends on how many lines I want to run into it. Four, maybe? Two? We'll go with two. We'll go with two. Bam. So, tracks then. This would then come out. So, I just slightly have that on an angle. And we need to... Oh, actually. We might have to go through this as a little bit of a tunnel. But it's going to come up. If I just go there, round to here. So then hopefully, oh, nice little little tunnel as well. Hopefully connecting to there. So running this through to here, and then. That's what the game suggests. A little tunnel there and a big bridge here. I can change the bridge. I can go for like something a little bit more modern. Oh, that's nice. I, I like that instead. And then at the very last minute, we'll merge into one. Now, that's only one train line utilizing that. I don't need a second one coming in or anything like that. because It's just going to be going back and forth there back and forth back and forth back and forth so from that single one here we're going to set up a multi route to go into this farm and that farm only because of how far away it is it gives it time to when the train arrives there'll be a lot of uh grain on the platform because of the distance it takes but also with the distance it means we make quite a big chunk of cash as well so that's coming out of the left one 
So if I set this up to run this way, and then coming off that, we'll bring this down, and then connect in. And then we're just going to have to figure out where we're running this. So actually, before I do that, then, let me get the two stations down. So we'll do an end route. Only needs to be one track. Spit it right round. All right, let me get right in. Bam. There's one. And the second one is just here. Right, so they're going to come into the same route because the same train will be using it. And that route will pass through here. And then where can we... We can get it to clip into there. That will then run up with us as well. Right, let me just slightly delete that bit and redo it. Right, we're actually now like super close from getting this done. So it wants the tunnel all the way to there. Wow. Is that for real? That is for real. Right, I'm going to bring it to there first and then, then I'll do it. Okay, the whole thing's now not tunneling. But <laughs> right, that's okay. Right. Oh, that gets really weird, doesn't it? Oh, I realise what I've done. You absolute noob. You absolute noob, Saniac. Right, all the way down, and then merging in, and then we need to come off this as well. So, leading in that direction, we'll take you coming off, take you coming off, and we'll go to the outside. Oh, it's creating a bridge. That bridge is a little bit more modern. We're investing, boys. We're investing right now into Ireland. Investing to, to take all its resources away from them. Capitalism. <laughs> right, that's all done. It's not perfect, but it's going to work, this is. This is 100% going to work right now. So now we're going to set up all the signals. Otherwise, this, this won't work. So that goes to there, um, to there, to there, to there. That's what it's got to do. Leading in to there. And we get to over here and to there. So I'm not going to do the ones in the middle because it's only really going to be one train going back and forth unless I need to add in additional trains. So that way and then we'll... It pretty much gets over to here now, doesn't it? So we'll go one there. Then we'll do one there. We've now got to delete this one. So it all comes together. And then back to the signals. We don't want... Okay, we actually want one there. But we don't want now this one. And so this is like a very, very basic version of the signals. It's really only set up for if you've got one train coming in. Other than that, it's no good for multiple trains because they're too far apart. They are really too far apart. Right, that goes that way. You're there. And get rid of you. Nice. Now for this one, we've got a Chrissy Crossy. Cause I don't know why, but apparently I'm expecting multiple trains to be coming into this place. So that will do for now. 
that will do for now. We've got a lot of stuff now we need to get up and running for this to now actually all work. So back into play mode then. So now that the game can go back to play mode and the cities that I've slightly destroyed can now rebuild themselves. And let's first start then with setting up the two grains to the food processing plant. So, new line. We're going to pick up. We're going to drop off. We're going to pick up. And then we're going to drop off. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Now, if I change the orange so I can see the lines, it all should work. Should be no issues. La di da. But I need to get trains on this, don't I? I need to get a train running on this. So if I can implement quickly my building for my train depot. And I'm wondering if I can run, for example, you into there. But then also have you run to there. So he goes in both directions there. So let's buy the train, boys. Let's buy the train. So I'm still sticking to diesel at the moment. And then cargo. So this is carrying grain. So we need a gondola. And we'll go for a 240 capacity. So this is going on our line one, which is now known as, which I do need to rename it. So it's it's basically within Limerick, okay? I'm going to call it the Limerick grain. Easy enough to understand, right? Lim. Eric Grain. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, that train will now go back and forth and do what it has to do. I can have a little bit of fast forward to kind of help it out. Uh, but we should now start seeing grain placing on the platforms. And because of the distance it has to travel and the, the, the delay until it comes back to that same platform, uh, there should be a lot waiting for it when it needs to pick up. So next then, we need to create a line that will then take the food all the way down to the harbour. But it won't do anything in if I did make it. Because what we have to do is set up all the other routes to know that the grain can be transported all the way to Birmingham. But we'll set it up anyway. So new line. Oh, I've done clicked it twice there. From Limerick all the way down to the cargo station in Waterford. And again, we'll make this a darker brown. Why not? And making sure that it's on the correct sides. Yep. No issues, no issues, no issues. And we'll call this the water... Uh, food. Um, it'll be food, wouldn't it? Yeah, it will be food. That's what it's known as. So, I could, you know what? I'm going to buy the train. Even though we won't do anything just yet, we'll buy the train none the, none the least. So, I buy you, and it's cargo related, and it's going to be... Isn't it box cars for food? Yes, it is. So, we'll buy 100 capacity, you reckon? Because you got to remember, it's bringing 240 down. No, we'll do a 120. It's half because two grain make one food. That's how you got to look at it, right? That's how you got to look at it. So buy you, and then you're going on the Waterford food run. Nice. Nice. And then we set up a new line. So from the cargo harbour all the way over. I didn't add a passenger line on any of these, did I? back and forth here so this is to bristol so bristol food easy peasy lemon squeezy and we have boat a boat or shipyard all the way over here so cargo related a tugboat needing to carry food it does 19 miles an hour in terms of its top speed That one does 20 miles an hour. So is it worth the extra mile an hour? I think it is, because over time that would be slightly quicker. I buy. Bristol food. That one now will do what it's got to do. And then we can finally create a final line from Bristol to Birmingham, which we'll rename it Birmingham Food. Which I'll give that a colour of orange as well. Now, is that using the right sides? Yeah, it is. It's all using the correct size of the tracks, isn't it? Yes. Now, where can I bring a train from this? Is that the train? Oh, it's facing the wrong way. That's facing the wrong way. 
Hmm. I'm gonna have to build another one. It's not a problem. It's not a problem, boys. Tracks. There we go. So it might as well bite now. And it won't be a big train. It won't be a big train. Cargo related will go for now 100 capacity. On the Birmingham food line. So everything is now in place. So by doing that, as soon as this factory now gets food or grain coming in, it will then start producing. But not a fat lot can happen until it starts bringing food back. Which makes me question, is it best to have two trains on here? It depends on how much demand is going to be on this line. So it's just a case of giving it a little bit of time just to tick along. But we're now going to be feeding Birmingham with food. So that will take a while before we see anything happen. So in that meantime then, let's actually place down the passenger dock and then get the landing in and we'll set up one to Bristol and one then to Liverpool so we can like really split it all all the differences I forgot that's what we have to do so where does the line run into this one it runs on the first one so I could delete this one for example place you in get the landing in very good very good very good so a new line I could do New line. Select the passenger. Two over here. And it will be known as Brist Bristol to Waterford. And I'll change it to like a pinky purple. <laughs> Why not? Why not? And then we'll do another new line. Where we'll go from here. And then we'll make this one yellow. And this one can go to Liverpool. Any moment now, it will figure out the route. Ha ha! So can I change this to a different platform? To two? Yes. So different platform there. Different platform there. And then this is our Waterford to Liverpool. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Right, nice. Just got to buy the boats from there. So, passenger-wise, and what, what, are we, what have we been using? Which one is it? Is it like that? Yeah, it's the one that looks like a ferry, doesn't it? That's what it is. The one that looks like a ferry. So, buy you this one here. We'll buy two. And then we'll whack one on the Bristol to Waterford. And then the other one on the Waterford to Liverpool. Done. I'll add more boats on as time goes on, but it is quite some distance, that, isn't it? It is quite some distance. Right, are we now producing? Has that picked up anything? Nine food on board. So we are now producing. Not a lot. Not a fat lot right now. That train's on the way back of hundred, nearly 120, so this is looking good already. So for the first time ever, then, this place will have some food shortly. So can the train get... Yeah, the train's going to get there before the boat does. The boat's only over here. Can the train make two journeys in time? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, you know. It could be quite possible the train could go back, pick up another load, and, and bring it back in time. Because this is about to come in right now and make this factory work over time. It could be interesting. We're going to see, boys. We're going to see. So in comes this one now, dropping off a bunch of grain. Which will now start producing the food. There's a lot of grain there to make a lot of food at this point. So that'll just start throwing it on the platform. That train has now just dropped the goods off. So there is now... Oh, actually. I was going to say, if I, one thing I did not check... Uh, one thing I did not check, and I'm, I'm absolutely, absolutely a complete idiot for not checking, is the fact that Waterford doesn't accept food. Because if it did, it would take all my food away. And if Bristol accepts food, none of them accept food. So I'm quite lucky on that aspect that none of them accept food. So all the food is going to directly go to Birmingham. Now, here's the ship here. And there's the train. 
Can the train go, go all the way up, pick up, and then come all the way back before that, that ship gets here? I don't know. It's going to be quite close. It's going to be quite close. But it'll do what it's going to do anyway. So how much food's waiting over here? There are starting to build up a nice few piles right now, but until the demand is increased, that's just how it's going to be. So in comes the ship. Also, have we seen many people waiting here yet? No one's really waiting here yet for the transition over on the ferries. Yeah, this... this uh... Oh, holy moly, the ferries have actually caught up to the cargo ship pretty quick. So the train's coming in right now. I don't think it's going to get there in time, if I'm honest with you. I don't think it's going to get there in time. But how much does it pick up on this next journey? It takes a grand total of 31. Not bad, considering that's like, you know, we've only just got this route set up. That's not too bad. So the cargo ship is going to pick up right now, and it's got only 9 to pick up, which is fine. No passengers just yet waiting. So he's got the nine on board. And off it goes. Glorious. So, nice little journey it's got to travel. No one's waiting over here yet for the boat line. So, like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time before Birmingham receives its food. But at least we've got additional lines all set up anyway, so I'm quite excited for that. Look, look at the speed difference right now. There is some dramatic speed difference right there between cargo and passenger. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So 18 food ready to be picked up right now. There's a bunch being stored there. Production's increasing. Once we get the shipment up and the transport up, this will then go to the next level and then start demanding more, more grain. Which these farms will then start producing more in total as well. It's all happening. Oh, there we go. We now got passengers. It's all happening. It's all exciting, and I just cannot wait. And there's actually a passenger waiting over here in Bristol. Is there anybody in Liverpool waiting over here yet for the Waterford line? Yes, there's four passengers currently. Whoa, look at the amount of passengers currently waiting. Right, we have to get set up a few additional boats on this. So manage the vehicles. We are going to duplicate. There we go. And then the Liverpool to Belfast one. We're going to manage vehicles. And we are going to duplicate. So an extra boat on both of those lines. Because there's quite a lot of people waiting at these um, harbours. Now obviously now we've got a third one implemented. It will take a little bit of the heat off these guys. But, you know, it still won't be that much. I, I say we've got a third one in. We've also got the fourth one in going this way as well. So it will take a lot of heat off um, all the shipping routes in general. So we'll see how we get on. How is, do we need like an extra train on that one? These stations are getting very busy, aren't they? They really are get, starting to get a lot busier. Right, where's the cargo ship? The cargo ship's only over here. It's not the easiest way to bring the stuff over. It's definitely quite slow. It's definitely quite a slow option to do this. So, the train going back and forth here right now is truly going to have to be waiting a gazillion years before we can send the food off. But it will work eventually, boys. We'll be, you know, killing the game before you know it. So, dropping more goods off now. So, it won't level up until we get the transport numbers up, but it will take a while because... It, it's going to have to fill all this up. There's 31 currently waiting. Yikes. So while that does its thing, then while we have to wait a little bit longer, we're at 4,420. In terms of the charts right now, the residential is still growing. I did kill off a lot of industry around here, but once you start getting the food delivered... It, oh, they've actually started to build the roads themselves already. Now, to make it a little bit more friendly, we're going to smooth in the areas so it, it will, will kind of like, you know, promote a little bit of growth not have too many awkward buildings and the terrain being too awkward for them to decide what they want to do over here but it will all work out boys remember when we first started and this oil run was completely isolated was it this oil run yeah it used to come down here up and round and it was kind of so far away from birmingham now it's like 
merged into Birmingham right now. It's hilarious. <laughs> it really is hilarious. Right, where's that cargo ship? Still a while yet. Still a while yet. But it's exciting. So, while we wait then, how much money we make? Oh, we've just had a record year in terms of income. 195 million was our new record of a year. Oh, let's go. Granted, you know, I've spent a lot of money lately, but in terms of income, that's really good to see. Right, we got to think about setting up. So Liverpool to Scarborough. Liverpool to Scarborough. How many trains are on this? There's two trains currently on it. There's a train about to come in right now. Is that why there's so many people? Yeah, there's a train about to come in, so it's not a case of adding more to it just yet. But then again, it's got to take a bunch of people one way. We might need to get like an additional train on this. Right, manage line. No, vehicles. If I edit them to both having... Hmm. If I replace them then, they carry a 198 each, don't they? Now, you could change it to like one of these bad boys, but it's only 124, but you can get multiple on. Or I can just kind of edit the vehicles and add additional carriages to it. So one extra carriage on each ups the carrying capacity by 33 passengers. Not much, but it will make a world of a difference. It will make a world of a difference. Now over here, not too many is going on there, but there seems to be a lot of people over on this one. The Birmingham to Brighton route. There's a lot of people, isn't there? All right, edit these then. So these don't... Yeah, we're going to add an extra carriage on each one. Modify them. So that's an extra 120 people around trip, when you think of it like that. Now, we might need more on these. Manage vehicles. Is there a bigger capacity tram? So, 20... We got 43s. There's 45s, but then 43s, they'll do all right, wouldn't they? I think it's more of a case of we'll duplicate one. And this outer loop, manage, and then duplicate. And see how we get on with that. Just small little tweaks we're making, just small little tweaks. Oh, the cargo ship's come and gone. The cargo ship has come and gone. We're just waiting for the cargo train to make its way in, which it's now just about to arrive. It actually got there quicker than I was expecting. So now I have to see food for the first time. Go to Birmingham. So let me click on the train. Let's follow the train. So for all these years, it's been losing cash. <laughs> and it will still lose cash until we get a bigger bigger chunk of food going over there. So here we go, boys. Here we go. Food is arriving in Birmingham for the first time ever. And now with these nine food, the population will triple. <laughs> Not so much, but you get the gist of it. So going for the bypassing route of Bristol. It's nice now we got it all connected, isn't it? It is nice. Making our little bit of a left detour where this train track is completely and solely. Solely for this train line. And it will make its way all the way over. I don't think you'll make much catch on this. But the bigger picture... We gotta look at the bigger picture on this line. It's not about making a profit at the moment. So round we go. And how much does it make when it stops off? With nine food. Two hundred and thirty thousand. <laughs> it's a drop in the ocean for how much it's losing. But now we got some food coming in. Hopefully, as time goes on, we start to see a little bit of growth. Nice. 
So how is the machines routes doing anyway? There seems to be a lot of goods over here right now. So Birmingham Steel. No, it's Birmingham Machines. We're going to manage the vehicle right now. We're going to edit it. And add, cargo-wise, a few additional boxcars on. Is that it there picking up? No. So we add an extra 40 capacity to it. Which picks up 100 at a time. I think this is it right now, isn't it? No, this is also dropping off more steel. So that will take more. I'll take 40 more over at a time, which is exactly what we want it to do. Now, are we still producing enough steel is the real question. The answer is yes. Yes, we are. There's a lot of steel waiting at this platform. So no worries about that at the moment. Cargo ship's on its way over. By the time it gets there, there's 196 waiting for it. So, yeah, every time this ship arrives, then there's going to be a vast amount of food ready to be taken to Birmingham. So, I think we'll leave Birmingham as it is right now. We've now injected steroids from both sides in exuberant amounts of numbers. And then time goes on, it shall just continue to grow. Grow and grow some more. It's the biggest city in the game by city size uh, only to be rivaled not not so much rival but only to be kind of slightly trailed behind by uh, London right now it's pretty good I can't believe Dublin how Dublin's crept up considering that we've only recently just gone to Dublin I can't believe how much that's grown already crazy right crazy but um, yeah, we might need more ships on, but we can see as time goes on how it changes because having these additional passages right now will make a huge difference. That's coming back with three on board right now. That's coming back with 22 on board, but give it time and the numbers will, will slowly increase. They're always going to choose the shorter route anyway, but not bad, boys. Not bad. So... We'll look towards extending and expanding more as time goes on. But for now, we'll leave it here. Hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I see you all soon. So, goodbye.